Hi there. Welcome to another CAD Cabin tutorial video. In this video, we will design a tiny home using 3D Architect Home Designer software. We will show you how easy to use the planning tools to come up with a home design. To start, let's draw the walls. Click on the wall tool icon on the left toolbar. And then, you can now select the wall input on this side of the right bar. We'll use polygonal for continuous wall input. Now, select the wall type. In this tiny home, we'll use exterior wall medium. You can also customize this wall type. Click on the wall tool options found on the top bar. In this section, you can edit the properties of the wall like wall thickness, height and line type. After editing click on close. Now, start drawing the walls. We'll be drawing a 20 feet by 8 feet plan. Click to start the wall point. Move the mouse to the wall direction and input the length of the first wall. After input, press enter key. Do this until you have closed the plan. A room will be made after completing the walls. After exterior walls, let's draw the interior walls. In this tiny home, we'll only draw bathroom interior walls. Select interior wall and polygonal input. To place the walls precisely, you can double click on a reference point and move the mouse along the straight grid to the location of the wall. Enter the distance from the reference point and press enter. After this, you can now draw the interior walls. Now that we have completed all the walls, you have the option to raise the floor level. To do that, go to Floors menu. Then select Edit Active Floor from the drop-down. A pop-up window will appear. Open Floor Height options and edit height above ground floor. Click Close after editing. You'll see the 3D view of your home if you select 3D Furnishing Mode found in the top bar. Next, insert doors. Select doors tool icon to browse the door catalog at the right. For the exterior door, let's use patio doors. We'll choose a three panel glass door. After selecting, you can choose from three input options. Let's try door at set distance. In this input option, you need to input the distance first from a set edge. You can find the edge options at the tool options top bar. Select from right edge and then change the value of the distance and close the window to save. Insert the door by clicking on the set edge. Hover mouse to move door opening direction and then another click to fix. Let's insert exterior windows. Select window tool icon and then choose from different window types from the catalog. After selecting, you can edit window properties through the Window Component Tool options. Here you can edit the width and height of the window and its sill height. Once done, press Close to save. This time we'll use Midway Input option. To insert this window, select the first reference point and then select the second point. This will automatically detect the midpoint for window insertion. Click to fix the window to its location. You can also edit the properties of the window by selecting the window from the plan then click on the component options at the top bar. No need to reinsert windows if you need to edit a plan component.
Do this for the rest of the windows. Insert interior doors to the plan. Select interior doors from the catalog and choose from many door types. Next let's add a small deck. To add a platform deck, click onto the Balconies, Verandas and Platforms tool. Here you can select Platform. After selecting, edit its properties through the Platform Component options at the top bar. Edit the preferred height. After editing, you can select from either input options. For this home, we'll use the easiest, rectangular input. To draw the deck, click onto the first point then drag the rectangle to the second point. Click to fix the deck. Now, let's insert the roof. Click onto the Roof Tool icon. A catalog of different roof type will appear. In this example, we'll use Gable Roof. Again, let's use Rectangular Input option. You can modify the roof properties through the Roof Editor at the top bar. Here you can modify the eaves width, roof pitch, gutter width and other roof measurements and properties. After that, check tool options on the top bar. In this option, you have the choice for creating an attic floor. Now draw the roof. To draw, select first edge point then drag the rectangle to its opposite edge. This automatically creates the roof. Another feature that you can add to your home is the skylight. Select skylight tool from the toolbar and select from many skylight types. To insert the skylight, just drag and drop to the roof and click on the preferred location. After the design, we can now customize the materials of the home. By selecting Material Tool icon, you can choose from the built-in catalog of materials. Let's apply wood panel cladding on the exterior walls. Drag and drop the material to the walls. It is very easy to get the material of your choice in the design. You can apply materials at any plan component. Just choose from the catalog or add a custom material to the design. We made a tutorial video for custom materials, be sure to check it out. In this software, you can also design the interior. Add objects like furniture, decor, appliances and many more.
To do this, select Objects Tool icon. Choose from different objects from the catalog. Drag and drop the objects to the plan. Choose from different furniture objects. Objects can be moved, rotated and copied. With CAD Cabin, home design has never been easier. With easy-to-use tools, you can now create a professional-looking plan. Visit cadcabin.com and compare all software now.